Clearly Confused, clearly the most confusing hour of your day. I'm your host, Chris Becker, and today we got a special guest. He's an up-and-coming SC artist, one of the most talented from the city. He's, he's an independent music mogul and a jack of all trades. Please welcome Status. What's up, what's up? Glad to be here, man. What's good with you, Chris? Let's go with you. <laughs> what you been on today? Hanging out, man. Just working, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's another day to uh, always uh, promote and uh, get your music to the next level. Well, we're up pretty early, too. Yeah, it's early. Late night, too. <laughs> <laughs> how, late, how late were you up last night? 4.30. Doing, uh, doing what at 4.30 in the morning? Uh, uh, just uh, promoting music, man. Going out to the spot, you know what I'm saying? Feeling the energy, feeling the vibe from the people. Uh, shout out to DJ Shardike, you know what I'm saying? They had a cigar lounge last night, so went in there, got some music played, uh, set up another show, you know what I'm saying? Just always networking and trying to, you know, further my music, so I had to go touch the people, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, I feel you. Yeah. So uh, you grew up in South Carolina? Yep. Born and raised Charleston? Yeah, Charleston, man, right what, here. What can you tell me about, like, your upbringing and growing up in Charleston? Shit, growing up in Charleston is... Um, it's fun, you know, uh, it's a lot to do, but uh, it's also, you know what I'm saying, you also have to be on point as far as, you know, your friends and things, you know, of that nature, because, you know, you can easily, you know, go into a whole nother world if you're not around the right people, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So it's fun, but, you know, you just got to be aware of what people you'll be around, you'll be all right. <laughs> so I know you hustle hard now, but were you always a hustler, even back in the day, teenager, everything? Always been a hustler, day one. Um, always, you know, pay for my own studio time. You know, always hit the studio. Um, always uh, put my own music out, invest in my own stuff as far as putting out my own projects. Um, you know, uh, pressing out my own CDs, you know what I'm saying, from day one. You know what I'm saying? Selling CDs and making money off them, you know. So, yeah. I remember uh, I used to work at that car wash down the street. Yeah. And you came in one time and you were handing out CDs to everyone, blasting your shit. Right. And everyone was playing in their car. Hey, this shit hard. Yeah. <laughs> Coming through the car wash, tipping good. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's the uh, money on the way days, circumstances days, you know. Songs like Aladdin and Crown Holders back in the day. So, you know, Swerve and all that. So, like, yeah, like, I've been doing it for a while. You know what I'm saying? So, it just feels good to, uh, you know, be here and, uh, you know, just keep, keep things forward. Mm-hmm. What can you uh, tell me about like influences growing up musically and then even like actors, movies, comedy, anything? Because I know me personally, I take a lot of inspiration from like stand up comedians, and even actors. Um, I, I, Wayne was a big influence. Uh, Lil Wayne was a way big influence. Like uh, the whole cash money, um, you know, effect, like, you know, it just was major. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, no Limit was a big um also a factor, but as I got older, you know what I'm saying, of course Gucci's and the Jeezy's and everything came later, but like Lil Wayne was a big, you know, reason why I wanted to rap too. I was just listening to uh, some No Ceilings the other day. What, what, excuse me? No Ceilings? Oh, No Ceilings, yeah, 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 yeah. I think they're bumping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No <laughs> Ceilings is one of the best mixtapes, but I feel like dedication, like the dedications yeah. is where I really, you know, got with Wayne and the Squad Up tapes too, like the old Squad Up tapes is... Where is that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, staying on Charleston a little bit, what can you tell me about like some restaurants you like, stores, anything? Um, well, of course, Bertha's Kitchen. You know, that's one of the um, staples in Charleston. That's when I, I shoot one of my album cover pictures there, oh, okay. uh, The Takeout. Uh, that's online now, statusapple3.com. And um, <clears throat> uh, I also like uh, Nigel's. Um, uh, what else spots we got, man? Uh, uh, I like Crab House, you know. Uh, I like Reds. Like, I like seafood, so, mm -hmm. like, any seafood spot in Charleston, shout out my seafood spots out there, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Oh, Nana's is good, too. Mm -hmm. I like Nana's, too. Yeah. It's dope. So, I know uh, you were writing rhymes and rapping at, starting at 10 and also performing shows as a teenager, but when did you, like, start rapping was it at 10 or when did you like take it seriously um <clears throat> well um i felt like when, when i was putting my money into it i always took it seriously because we didn't have a lot of money back then so i've been serious with this man probably um 
when I got out of high school, when I started uh, rapping with Rock Tunes, Godfigure, as far as like putting out my first project and um, really like putting my money behind it, I would say that was around like 2000, you know wow. what I'm saying? Yeah, so that's 20 years ago. <laughs> so you said you performed as a teen, what were you like, how was that? Um, performing like high school talent shows, oh, okay. um, like shit used to be Jack, like pep rallies and shit, like just performing and um. So is that like an easy transition for you now? Like performing in like clubs and bigger venues and stuff? Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, it gets you prepared, but mm. the clubs is different because see at school, you know what I'm saying, everybody know you, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's different, you know what I'm saying? Like. When you in the club, nobody really know you. Mm -hmm. you, you. You doing a new song or you opening for a new act. Everybody there to see the main artist. But then when you performing, you know what I'm saying? Nobody you really. Too. Yeah, you got to bring it. So it's just like it's different. But I love the adversity. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I love you know doing my thing on stage. So it ain't no ain't no biggie. What about um like do you remember what your first song was and like what was like your reaction or what was like people's reaction when you put it out? Um, it was this pimp song we did in high school. Uh, it was three P Pimple playing passing, and uh, that shit been Jack like that shit was Jack like yeah we had everybody singing that shit. Them, they wanted us to uh, turn our shirts inside out because they thought we was a gang or something because we had the airbrush shirts with three P on it and all that. <laughs> so they was like, oh y'all gotta turn y'all shirts inside out, you know. But we we, we, was, we was we was jiggy on them boy, you know what I'm saying? We was rocking. <laughs> Uh, I was looking at some of your videos, and I think Saucy was the most viewed video. Right. What can you tell me about Saucy? Um, just a you know, just another day. Like I said, just swagging. Like I saw some three piece shit swagging. You know, through you know, Dorchester Manor. Shout out to Stratton. You know what I'm saying? Like just just swagging through. Like you know, on my shit. Like you know, just saucing. You know, saucing on the face, saucing on tool nine, saucing on the floor. You know what I'm saying? Like, we just saucing. You know what I'm saying? I so said you had a um, barbecue sauce in that video, too. You know, remember what was on the barbecue <laughs> Sweet sauce? Sweet Baby Rays, and I put my uh, Mount Up logo on it. Shout out to Sweet Baby Rays. Don't get me for that. I did put my logo on it, but it's just, it just, just a promotional, funny, you know, marketing tool, because I love Sweet Baby Rays. Like, mm -hmm. who don't like Sweet Baby Rays? Definitely, I barbecue. think the best barbecue <laughs> sauce. <laughs> Words. But so. what, can you, what can you tell me about Mount Up? Uh, Mount Up is stands for Mountain the United Paper. You know, United we stand, divided we fall. And uh, it's about just being united, man. It's about, um, you know, your network is your net worth. You know, that's what we about. We about uh, trying to, you know, unite minds and unite our paper to further the culture and further the youth and further what we're trying to move forward with. You know what I'm saying? Is Mount Up all you? Like, are you the owner or? Yes, I'm the sole owner. Uh, it was started, you know what I'm saying, with a group. Uh, when was it started? It was started um, probably like in, um, I want to say around like 2014. Okay. You know what I mean? And uh, after that, you know what I'm saying? Because really we was a promotional group as far as shows, mm -hmm. but then I took it far as a record label, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And uh, really putting projects out, you know, investing money. A shot at the wise too, you know. Saying we started out um, putting the mount up thing together, and uh, but you know things happened, and I had to you know take over and um, try to you know keep the company going and try to keep the vision going. What I have for the, for the label. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. good. Um, also, Stunna was one of your most streamed songs. Three hundred or three hundred thousand. As of when I wrote this down, it's probably uh, more, of course, but. Well, uh, that was produced for Young Joe, right? Yeah, well... Oh, he did the beat? No, no, no. Um, Young Joe was featured on that song. Um, Skate Bravo actually did the beat for um, Stunna. Okay. Yeah. What, what can you tell me about Stunna? What was the like, environment like and everything? Okay, well... Um, or even Headspace when you made the song. Um, we already did a song with Joe called Running Up Bands, Me and Wise. And uh, it's a part with, in the verse, you know, really that's a sample from... The verse we did with Dro. Mm -hmm. Dro said that in his verse on a song that we did with him. It's called mm -hmm. Running Up Bands. And uh, we, I took that part, you know, to be clever and uh, put that on, you know, make another song with Dro. And um, the hook is hard. Like, it, it, what he said in the verse was hard, and I wanted to make it into a song. And I told Skate, Bro, Skate Bravo about it. Can you um, and, tell uh, them what the line was for the ones that don't know? Uh, the line with... Um, like the sample line. Uh... 
Man, what Dro saying that? Known for keeping it raw. Tony Montana. Stano. Stano. <laughs> Known for rocking them robbers and Dolce Cabana. Like it just it just had a nice little swag on it, so I had to, you know, put that on the on the on the on the hook. So uh we made a whole nother beat for it and shit. I put two verses on there, the rest is history. <laughs> Word. What about uh Money Talks? What can you tell me about that? It was from with DJ Film Productions. That's also a skate skate brawl beat too. Yeah, it's also a skate bravo beat. Um uh DJ Films is out there in Texas. Shout out to all my Texas family, South Side, you know, all sides, you know. Um we uh filmed that um at DSD one studio and shot the BFR. BFR had invited me out there um to network with some TSF artists and shot the South Walker as well. Um just networking, uh shot the peso peso. Um just networking man out there in Texas and um we was able to shoot a video, and um, my homeboy, uh, what's the guy Fresh uh, hooked up with? Um, uh, um, I'm trying to think. Hold up, real quick. Um, Young Fresh. Well, yeah, we was at DSD. We was at DSD One. We shot the video at DSD One. And um, fresh new, I can't I can't remember the guy uh, his name, but I get it. It'll come up. But um, um, he set up the video shoot outside. You know, they brought the Phantom out there, man, and it was a whole another movie. You know what I'm saying? We shot a movie out there in Texas, man. Uh, Money talks. They really, you know, liked the song, and uh, me and DJ Film stayed up to like four a four a.m. shooting that video in Texas. So it came out really good. Do you, how do you feel about the movie? What movie? Money Talks with Chris Tucker. Oh, the movie. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I thought you talking about the movie I shot. <laughs> no, your movie's hard. You know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, like, that, that's obviously where you got the inspiration from, right? Right, 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 right. Like, can you, like, um, like was that, did it um, impact you growing up? or? Oh, uh, that yeah, of course, the movie. You know, I love Chris Tucker. Um, he's funny, man. Like, the, the whole movie is just, um, it, it is funny. Like, it's real funny, like. Like, but I, I'm going to be honest with you, like, when I wrote the song, I know I say it in there, you know, Chris Tucker and stuff like that, but I just was being clever with the line, because really, I made another hook to that song, and Skate Bravo told me, nah, if you, you know, we're going to make the hardest thing you said in your verse, mm -hmm. the hook, so mm -hmm. that's what we did with Money Talks, I put the verse for the hook, so when we put, when we did that, man, it just came out really good, and um but yeah, the movie man is dope. I, I love what Chris Tucker do. Like he's funny in Rush Hour and stuff. Like, yeah, shout out to Chris Tucker. We need Jackie Chan to do a drop on uh, Money Talks. <laughs> <laughs> Should it be dope? You were saying that you took the uh, the hardest stuff from your verse and put it in the chorus, right? Or your hook? Yeah. Is that like is that normal for you? What's your like your recording process like? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like sometimes, like. You mix it up. I might go in there and mix it up. Like I might have a hook for something, but then I might hear something in the verse that's hard, and then I might just put that as the hook. You know what I'm saying? Is it normally like freestyle, or do you write, punch in? Well, it's writing, just just writing, or sometimes freestyle. It just depends. You know what I'm saying? It ain't really no method. It's just whatever you feel that day. Yeah, whatever I feel. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know you got family a lot in your videos. Like they're in the saucy video and others. What do you? Uh, how does your like? Family support impact you. Um, make, family is you? family is very important. Um, uh, I always keep family first, man. So I saw them around. I don't really hang around too much, you know, dudes and all that. And you know, I don't really have a whole bunch of friends. I got a whole lot of bad experience with friends. So mm -hmm. you know, I just um, I'm just uh, very very family orientated, man. That's all I can say. I was over at the uh, the house the other day. Your mom was wearing a mount up shirt. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, speaking of mount up shirts, um, Rich, you can bring me um them three shirts right there real quick, and that uh Charlie O hat. So you show them boy what's going on. Oh, appreciate. It. Yeah, man. Um, this is a brand uh, Charlie O. Let me show the viewers Charlie O. This is a brand uh. That we really rocking the Charlie shot to them. This is not my brand, but you know we rock Charlie O. You know what I'm saying? We got the we got the different things up under there as far as where we from, North Charleston. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Mount Pleasant. You know West Ashley. Um, 
These are some mount-up shirts uh, that we brought out. You know what I'm saying? And uh, how much do these go for on your website? These go for twenty on the site. You know what I'm saying? And that's also a gift to you. Oh, thank you. You know what I'm saying? Gift to you because uh, you rocking with us. Uh, but if you want a purple, or, you know, a different one, just let me know. But um, yeah, man, mount up, man. Y'all boy, come rock with us. We got our own brand, and uh, it's that status a four three dot com. So um, y'all fuck with us. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Pub Glizzy too. He got his shit coming. <laughs> How'd you get that name? Status? Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, uh, in high school, they gave me that name. Like, um, like uh, just, uh, I guess, like, just being a class clown and always getting in the shit and, you know, being best dressed and shit like that. Like, like I just was always into some shit. So, you know, that that's what that's what they gave me. And they, they start call, it was really, like, long. It was uh, KG status. It stands for my name, Kenny Glover, but... Mm. They was calling me KG status, you know, in high school. And then when I got older, I said, drop the KG, man. It's just status. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, speaking about family a little bit more, I know you're a father. What can you tell me about, like, how your daughter, like, affects your music, how it makes you hustle harder, everything? Well, my first, uh, one of my first albums um, was called Hustling for Her. And I actually put her on the cover, and it very inspired me, you know what I'm saying? I have a daughter, and I have a son, too, shot the little Alex. Um, he's about to turn five uh, coming up this year. And um, my kids really do motivate me, man. Um, you know, it either makes you stronger or it makes some people weaker, you know what I'm saying? So it made me stronger, and uh, I love my kids. Shout out to my kids. And uh, speaking about South Carolina, what, like, who are you collabing with or working with in South Carolina that you that you fuck with? I'm fucking with um Young Fresh, PFR. I'm fucking with um L O B G. Uh, I'm fucking with Dale Boy Daryl. I'm fucking with uh Lil Yazzie. I'm fucking with Gunna Greenland. And who are you Kat. working with from SE? That's what I'm saying. I'm naming. I'm, t I'm telling you people who I'm working with, people who I'm working with and plan to work with. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, everybody on DS uh, KG. Um, shit. Papa Band. Shit. I fuck. I fuck with everybody in Charleston. Like I fuck with everybody. Molly Taylor. And you're just talking about uh, expanding and networking. What are you doing, like outside of South Carolina? You said you're in Texas. What is it? What else do you have going on? Um, Texas, of course. Shout out to DSD one. Shout out to Ruler. That's that's his name, Ruler. Young Ruler. Shout out to Ruler, man. Ruler laid it out. You know what I'm saying for us up there. Um, at DSD one. Shout out to the whole TSF family. Uh, shout out to Florida. Bigger ranking. Uh, shout out to the Big DM Core DJs. We work with them in Atlanta. Um, shout out to Jay Rich. You know we work with Quality Control. Um, shout out to Street Execs. I use them for management at one point at one time. Um, you know, shout out to Young Dro for you know hopping on the song with me in Atlanta. Um, you know we trying to we trying to go we trying to go big to New York too. You know what I'm saying? We got people in New York, so. <clears throat> That's the main places though, like we got established people like that's some people who, you know, I got a call or, you know, people like I said, industry networking people. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that's just what it is. Like you gotta be around people in music if you wanna be in music, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? In all shapes and forms. Not right. just in, like people who make music, but people right. who are all behind the scenes and everything. Mm -hmm. Um I also put down here that you opened for Gucci at one point. Oh, yeah. Was oh, that yeah. Like, where was, where was um, that to? <clears throat> the vault in Florence. Um, uh, that was a good night, man. He brought out Pee Wee Longway. Uh, he brought out his wife. This is when he just got out of jail. Um, oh, okay. That, that last time. Mm -hmm. um, uh, who else did he brought with him that night? Pee Wee Longway, his wife. Oh, yeah. That, that, that was It was just them, but it was a lit night, man. Um, I did Saucy the record. I did a record called Saucy, that was pretty big. I did the Flip One record, and uh, we had a good time. 
we had a real good time. Shout out to We On Entertainment for giving me the opportunity. They they throw a lot of shows at the Vault in Florence, in Florence, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you ever heard of Francis Marion University, yeah. but um, open for a lot of artists out there because of We On Entertainment. So shout out to We On. That's good. What about uh, Young Boy too? You also open for Young Boy? Oh yeah, yeah. NBA Young Boy at a uh, same that? same club, oh. <laughs> Vault of Florence. <laughs> Same I day mean, or no? No, no, no. It was a different day. You know, um, different day. I also opened for Black Youngster. Oh, really? Yeah. How was that? It's all lit, man. I shot a video there. I shot a video. I shot the flip one video there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which um, which like venue do you think had the most like what what like at that venue? What was the most packed inside of those those shows? Not packed. Like which one did you like feel the most? I guess you could say. Or which one was feeling you the most? <sighs> well, I shot a video at. Youngster, I shot the video at Young Boy. Gucci, I just performed. I didn't shoot a video there. So I'm thinking, but the Gucci one was live though. Like a girl was rocking up on stage. Like shit was live. Like that Gucci one was super live. Like that shit was live. But I think the best one was, um, Cause I shot the flip one video. I'm thinking M the NBA YoungBoy one was the best. Okay. Yeah. And that's uh, South Carolina. You've also performed in Atlanta too at Opera, Magic City, Aroma. Yeah. Can you tell me about like work or performing there and then like the difference between South Carolina and Atlanta? Um. Performing wise, or the South Carolina shows, um, I would say, are more kind of like hood, and the places in Atlanta, it's hood too, but it's like hood hood classy. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like it's more like. Like they're about their business. Yeah, like they about their business, and it's more of a network mm -hmm. in, in in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? In Charleston, you know, you got people you know in the trap and shit like that. But it's like when you in Atlanta, like that's a whole another feel. So in Atlanta, it's kind of like it's dope because when you get actual people that's fucking with you, like when Tampa Mystic or Bigger Rankin or you know uh, Dro or any of them people, you know what I'm saying? Fuck with me in Atlanta, it'd be big for me. You know what I'm saying? So I love it. Do you like performing out there more than here, or you got a love for both? Or when in general, like where, where do you like performing at? I feel like um, anywhere I perform, I love it. Like it don't matter. Like it don't matter. Like if I'm home or Atlanta, Florida, fucking Alaska. As long, long as they're singing sing lyrics, it feels like <laughs> right. Home. I don't give a fuck. I love. I just love performing. Yeah. What um? What song do you think like is your favorite to perform, or gets like the best reaction out of people? Uh. Well, recently when I did a show, the songs that were standing out was, um, now, okay, I'm going to talk about two shows I had, um, 787 and one at Atlantis. The one at Atlantis, I felt like Cartier, Stunner, and Agenda stood out. And then the show I had at 787, I felt like this song I got called In The Days, and then another song I got called Remember That Pack, those songs stood out. So... Where, where was that at again? 787, and it's in the hood. Yeah. Um, also saw that you <coughs> said you had encounters with uh, 2 Chains and B.O.B. Yeah, um, was I was on a uh, B.O.B. set. Um, he was shooting a video, and, um, and uh, I met him through uh, DJ Aries. Um, that was a cool thing, and uh, two chains met him through passing at um, this club called Boogaloo's, and we always go to two chains uh, Escobar shit, and you know he always was a cool dude, like mm. you know post up or whatever, and uh, yeah, it's cool experiences, you know what I'm saying? More to come. Yeah, way more. So way you more. showed the uh, the merch that you had. What else do you like to do? What do you, what do you do like as far as like? I because I know you did the chains, right? Yeah. What can you tell me about that? Where uh, where was that from? You said the chains. Yeah. What chains? Shop Gold. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, partnership with them. Um, just like other artists like Soldier, Cardi, um, Wiz Khalifa, Tiger. Um, doing different partnerships with them because you can get your custom jewelry. You can get real VVs. You know what I'm saying? Crush it or whatever. And um, you know, getting jewelry through them. I also do music consultant. Um, I also do Instagram marketing, um, Spotify playlisting, um, you know, just things to increase, you know, your net worth. I also have somebody in the apartment that does um, forex trading where I, you know, 
they know how to flip the money and I just give them money to flip or whatever, you know, so we can make money together. Um, I just feel like you got to have different streams of income if you want to be an artist because you can't just rely on the, on the music to, you know, feed your family now, especially with COVID and everything going on. So um, you got to have different lines of income, you know what I'm saying? I think in general, like for most people, it would be very beneficial for them to have multiple streams, yeah. especially like if you have debt or anything or side hustles, they can pay your bills. Yeah, most definitely, most definitely, man. Um, what else do you like? What else you got going on in terms of like creating and like you said, expanding that network? Um, just releasing more content, <clears throat> and uh, my main thing is to get like a um, a artist center. I want to do an artist development, like as far as like one stop shop. You know what you need: graphic art design, your videos, um, placements. You know anything you need, just one stop shop. You know, I'm gonna set. I'm setting all that up. That's gonna be with Mount Up, or are you gonna make something else with that? Mount, Mount, up. Mount up Promotions, baby. Who did the uh, the design for Mount Up? Shout out to Steve, my homeboy Steve Missfoot. Um, he helped me design the Mount Up logo, and uh, the rest was history. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, you were speaking about all the creative outlets you have. What else do you like? Do you have any interest in acting or? YouTube, because I saw you had the, um, it was like the preview video, right? Mm -hmm. The one in Atlanta. What was that yeah. about? Um, that was behind the scenes um, with my producers, um, uh, Puff Glizzy and uh, Rafika. And uh, and uh, it was good, man. Like, we had a good time. We linked up with Jay Rich, and uh, we got some music done. And uh, just showing the behind the scenes, you know what I'm saying, of, um, you know, what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And... Cause we about to release like some different podcast series and you know different things of that nature. So we just trying to keep content. You know what I'm saying? Keep releasing content and just trying to stay busy and trying to stay working. And these are all going on YouTube. His video or videos? Yeah. YouTube and probably our own websites as well. Okay. So you can get straight, you know, straight uh, direct consumer from from our website. I think it's good to always see like artists like more than just their music like i like seeing like their personality and stuff right. too especially like the behind the scenes like people love that type of stuff right 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 most definitely man um a little more on the creative note your outfit today how do you how do you feel about your outfit today what you what you got on <laughs> uh, this is just a regular little shirt man uh you know Man, I just got I got my own swag, man. I don't I don't you know I don't really worry about you know, uh, I'm not like a designer person mm -hmm. or um, you know I just put shit on, man. And I you make it look good, good, you know what I'm saying? I just like looking good, feeling good, baby, and looking like it, you know what I'm saying? Have you always been like able to dress? You like wear your like your fashion? I feel style? like yeah, I feel like real fashion and just putting some shit on and you making it look like a million dollars. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't care where you get the shit from, as long as it's clean, baby, as long as you ain't dirty, as long as you don't smell like shit, it, hey, it's fine with me. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying, baby? So status back in high school was dressing too? Yeah, man. I always was dressing like always shit. Always been fresh? Always been fresh, man. I always been doing my thing. Um, they got a yearbook. My, my brother was telling me something about... Um, I got best dressing now. <laughs> I I, that's what I'm saying. I remember, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a long time ago, but you know, Kenneth Glover been doing this thing for a long time. What can you tell me about uh, working a job too? Because you still job. work, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, jobs. I'm laughing. Some saying jobs because, man, I don't have an ass of jobs, bro. I don't even want to. I don't even want to get into them shit. I ain't want to get into no story with no jobs. My homeboy telling me to do a story. Now go ahead and go ahead and tell a story about the job. What job? Concrete supply. I'm dumping concrete. Goddamn, my man putting on the shoe. You know how like the little trucks that roll around with the concrete. Mm -hmm. My man putting on the edge to the uh, the shoot on or whatever. And I'm fucking. I'm supposed to push the a button. For it to like uh uh just slow up in the truck like mm -hmm. just to you know spin it not to come it down but just to spin it 
and I end up pushing a button for it to come down. Oh. So he's putting on the shoot, and oh. fucking concrete is about to hit him in the fucking head. He's like, "What the fuck, man? What you got going on? <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to kill him." Hey, he called my boss. Them boy called me out there. Them boy was like, "Hey, we think you're gonna, uh, we think you're gonna train you for about two more weeks. We don't think you're ready to hit the field." Them boy. <laughs> You stay there long? Nah, man. I was not there long. <laughs> I was not there long. Shout out to them. No, they gave me a chance. I got a little money up out there and got the fuck up out of there. You feel what I'm saying, baby? <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about streams of income. I think it's always good to, to have a job to support, you know, your dreams and what you're passionate about, your right. hustle. Yeah. So right. I think that that's real uh, man-like. Everything is real... I don't. How, how should I describe it? Like, I did all that. We, we sh- that should be more of like the norm. Like people, like as soon as they start making music, they want to drop out or they want to do this and that, be all extra. Right, right. Like I feel like um, I feel like man, like even through all that shit, like even through bad, even when you broke, you still gotta rap. Even whatever you do, like you still gotta do it. You can't just stop because you know you got hurdles. You know you got obstacles. You gotta jump the motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Keep going. You know what I mean? Um, a little question for you about my podcast. How do you feel about like me coming to your home and like how do you think that feels? Like, do you think it's uh, appreciated more rather yeah. than you like going somewhere to meet me or something like that? Shit, it's COVID, baby. I'm trying not. I'm not trying to go up and, and people shit. I'm, it's COVID. Oh, I know, but if you, <laughs> if you got if you got work, you got work. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna work from home. I'm gonna work. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find a way to goddamn work. <laughs> shit. I'm going to find a way now. You know what I'm saying? Ain't that right, Glizzy? Yes, sir. <laughs> What's something that you think I could do that's come, that would make this uh, make this better? Improve my uh, my podcast game. Podcast game. Uh, you can have more snacks, you know? <laughs> I was trying to go to the liquor store because I know you like Bel Air. I was trying to get you some Bel Air. Oh, all, shit. All if all you had that, I would have really... All, hey, they've been I might have hugged you. They all been Speaking of Bel Air, hey, you can open this beer for me. Um, at the, in the, uh, in the, you know, the thing we do. I was trying to hook you up, but all of them been closed. Yeah, man. So it went yesterday, I guess. Damn, that shit would have tasted good today, baby. <laughs> so um, I've written down the glow of diamonds in the dark. What can you tell me about that? One of my favorite albums. Uh, it's the glow, man. Diamonds in the dark, man. We shine in the dark. We shine to do any damn thing, man. You know, um, that's the album. You know, it's a good feel. It's like a, it's a good feel. It's a nice, good, uh, listen, riding album. You know what I'm saying? Like one of them, one of them albums you could just play and just let it ride. You know what I'm saying? So, is that like? What's your feel of the? I mean, can you tell me your feel of the album? What you what you feel like it was? Like, did you get to listen to it? Not the whole thing. Okay. But for parts of it, yeah. I get what okay. you're saying. Like, it definitely has, like, an, a, like, a nice vibe to it. Like, I, I like how the whole, from what I listened to, like, it was all, like, similar. Like, right. I'm not, like, in a sense that, like, it was, like, put together good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I like how you did that. Right, right. Putting together, like, my own little movie type shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? The glow. <laughs> and uh, up next, you have the agenda video shoot coming? Yes, sir. What can you tell me about that? I don't get, don't give too much stuff away. Yeah, uh, just what's your agenda? You know what I'm saying? What you what you do what you do out the day is simple. You know what you do what you do throughout the day. You know what's your agenda? You know what what is your purpose? You know what I'm saying? What are you what are you here to do? You know what I'm saying? What made you like think about it when you were uh, making a record? Just therapy. Just um, writing. You know, writing down. I'm starting to. Uh, at one time, I used to write, put stuff in my mind and just do it and go off the hip, as we call it. Mm-hmm. But now I'm not going off the hip. I'm planning. I'm writing. I'm writing down my plan. Like I'm, I'm writing shit down. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even if I just write it on email and say it and get it to myself, like I'm writing it down, seeing it, and I'm accomplishing it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I think when like stuff's written down, it makes it like it's just better. For you. It's, it's, it's just better, man. With certain things, when you write shit down, man. I also feel like. I'm more accomplished whenever I write stuff down because then I can cross it off my list. Right, exactly, exactly. And so even if you have like a shitty day, at least you got stuff done. Mm-hmm. 
So you can't let it burden you that much. Yep. Like one of the things sacrificing with my credit, get my credit together. My money is not where I want it to be. I still got money, but as far as getting my credit together, I'm really excited for that because that's one of my goals. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. That's another thing, man. Good credit is... Don't don't let these rappers fool that they don't got no good credit, man. Like, some of these motherfuckers is paying for shit off their credit, bro. Like, credit is where it's at. Shout out to Money Man. He know the game. Um, People from the labels, they... Well, like, people who sign to these labels, they don't normally know that like the money that they get fronted for their contract, that they have to pay all that back. All that's used to, you know, make the song and make the video and you have to give that back and it's just you're supposed to use that to be able to flip it essentially. Right, right. What can you tell me about like being independent and like why you think that's better? Because you know, like like you were saying they're paying with stuff off credit. Well you can sign yourself, like I'm saying, with credit. Like if you got good credit, you can get your own loan and front your own money and, mm -hmm. and you know invest in yourself else. instead of going to someone else. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the benefit of being independent you know what i'm saying and, and building your own resources and you can drop shit when you want to you got creative control you ain't got to worry about turning no album in you can wake up and just drop a fucking album or a mm. single or whatever the fuck you want to do you know what i mean like like it's just better you know what i mean yeah it's always good to maintain that control mm -hmm. so you know what you want for your direction and then you also rely on yourself right most definitely so i got some uh, rapid fire questions for you okay all right, indica or sativa? Okay, uh, sativa. Blunt or a joint? Blunt. Checks or stripes? Checks. We like money, baby. What feels better, a good nut or a good piss? Good nut. If you could eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? A bocce. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get the, the shrimp and chicken or which one? Damn, See? that's hard. That's hard for the rest of my life. And chicken for me. Damn. Yeah, I gotta get the chicken. <laughs> I had chicken. All right, and uh, if a genie came out of the bottle, you had three wishes. What would your three wishes be? Shit, man. I can fly. I can read minds. And uh, shit. Fly, read minds, and uh, always look this motherfucking good, baby. <laughs> you hell. <laughs> All right, I got some uh, quotes written down for you, too. I just want to get your opinion on these and how you feel about them. When you're confident in what you bring to the table, you don't have to chase and beg anyone to come sit down and eat with you. I agree with that. Um, if you don't like the hand you were dealt, then start dealing your own cards. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's what you got to do through life. Like, that's some real ass shit right there. Like, you got you to gotta, you gotta grab life by the horns, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to create your own destiny. It doesn't matter how good you're doing. What matters is how long you're doing good. Uh, yeah, it's about maintaining maintaining uh longevity longevity it's about um you know having structure keeping it together not just bum fumbling going off the hip as we should say last quote here some people dream of success while others wake up and work that's daddy that's that's say for three dot com right there and uh Sass, what else you got next for the people what can you my last thought uh we got the agenda single going um we also uh got geechee grandma coming with dj Coop. it's gonna be real big um we got works with jay rich or qc uh bfr mount up and so on you got any uh dates in mind any concerts coming up january 25th geechee grandma 2021 let's go <laughs> I appreciate you man you did a good job I appreciate your show and um I think you've got some big things coming too bro thank you likewise yeah man I'm glad you were here yeah man glad appreciate you're the first you bro one. thank you man appreciate it bro we're gonna make magic hell yeah pause <laughs> <laughs> All right. anything else you wanna shout out Instagram your website you said website multiple times but might as well say one more statsable3.com statsable3 on Instagram 
status eight four three on everything, man. Uh, I mean, when you go to Spotify, and iTunes, it's just status. It's not status eight four three. Everybody get that confused. My my rap name is not status eight four three. I just put the eight four three for my websites and all my other stuff. Okay. So it's just status as far as that. Um, Stunner out with Young Dro, running up bands out with Young Dro. Um, man, the glow, diamonds in the dark, agenda, Cartier, money talks out now, going crazy on Spotify. Hundred thousand streams going, y'all keep streaming. Matter of fact, one hundred eighty-four thousand. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's keep it going, man. Status, man. Swerve, swerve, swerve in this motherfucker. I will thank you everyone for watching. I'm your host Chris Becker. Today we have Stats843. Appreciate you again for coming through. And I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.